So it's come to my attention that a few days ago, there was an announcement that Battle for Neighborville would be getting the same EA and Tichy that Garden Warfare 2 got back in March. Now for starters, if you're unfamiliar with how EA's anti-cheat works, here's a demonstration. Exactly, it does fucking nothing. Nothing except for pretty much making the game inaccessible to Steam Deck and Linux users, and generally make the game not only hog more resources, but again, with it being a kernel level anti-cheat, it basically has access to your entire machine. What makes this especially comedic is the fact that BFN on PC already had a fucking anti-cheat. Yes, I'm being serious, and unlike the EA anti-cheat, this one actually did something, somewhat. This anti-cheat was called Easy Anti-Cheat. And although it wasn't foolproof, when in combination with the fact that BFN was essentially a lot harder to mod in general, actually made the game fairly cheater free. For the most part, this anti-cheat was made by Epic Games, and is also used in their juggernaut title of Fortnite. So you know this thing must actually be good, if they're willing to use it on a little billion dollar IP. Now of course, one must wonder, why replace an anti-cheat that actually does something, with one that literally just sits there, and does fuck all. Well, there there are two logical explanations, either of which is entirely possible. The first is that these buffoons at PopCap are so unprofoundly stupid that they actually believe that this shit actually works, even though clearly, it doesn't. It's practically the same thing as inviting everyone from your school, including the kids that bully the shit out of you, which is really just fucking stupid. The other potential reason as to why is that likely because it's not their own anti-cheat that they're using, PopCap or EA, or perhaps both had to pay Epic Games a portion of the game's profits with them using their anti-cheat. And so in a decision of being absolute fucking cheapskates, they removed the anti-cheat and replaced with their owners to no longer have to pay them a single thing. Which at this rate, given both of their track records, it should not seem that surprising in the slightest. Though now the one thing that actually kept BFN afloat on PC is practically gone. And now, people can just do shit like this. So if by chance you stream the game on PC, I would suggest just avoiding public gilly park lobbies, because who knows what the fuck they could actually put in these things now. So pretty much, this game is now just as fucked as Garden Warfare 2 on PC, and at this rate, either they'll just slap this shit onto Garden Warfare 1 next, or just outright shut it down. Well, that's another headache endured from PopCap's completely illogical decisions, so off to fucking bed I go.